Y'all, happy summer! It is officially summer as of the 21st, which is the day that I'm recording this, but probably the, not the day that you're watching it. But happy summer, happy cancer season if you're into astrology. Today we are talking about creating a summer routine specifically for entrepreneurs. But before you go ahead and click off this video saying, oh, I'm not an entrepreneur, wait, because this video may be for you too, boo. We are going over four tips of creating a summer routine, and this can be applied to people that have kids and families trying to create that summer routine now that school is done. It could be applied to entrepreneurs. Uh, it could be applied to someone who's just trying to navigate that switch from winter and spring work in the corporate world to summer, trying to have fun, but still having to work that nine to five. Y'all know what we have to start with. We have to start with a little dance party. I got the whole living room to myself. So let's throw a big one. If you have not stood up and danced in one of these videos before, what are you waiting for? Get yourself a little movement in, get yourself a little energy so you can sit down and take in all of this information. Let's go. Okay, so here are your four tips coming at you hot. Speaking of hot, I don't know if y'all can tell, I am flushed, I'm sweating, I'm still on vacation on Block Island with my family, and it is kind of muggy today. So you get the crazy hair and the sweat, but let's just go with it, okay? So I don't know about you, but summer is my season. Literally, I am a Leo, so astrologically, is that a word? Astrologically? I think so. We'll just go with it. Astrologically, my sign is in summer. It's a fire sign, so I do really well in summer, but I also just love summer. I love the heat. I love everything that summer embodies where we are able to be outside and be social and see friends and go out to dinner, all of these things. However, these past couple of years, as I've dove more into my entrepreneurial journey, I've really had to manipulate and figure out what works and what doesn't in my summer routine because I feel so torn all the time between hanging out with my family and my friends and traveling and then having to do work. So this is something that I have a real big passion for and a really big passion for sharing how it can be done because we don't have to be lost. We don't have to be stressed out now that there's a new season coming by implementing these few key elements, it can really make a big difference in being all frazzled and having a crazy summer and really being exhausted and burnt out all the time versus thriving this summer. Okay, so tip number one, most people end with this specific tip, but I am starting with it because I think that it's the most important. Tip number one is remember to have fun and give yourself grace. It's summertime. We are meant to be outside enjoying the weather, soaking up all of nature. Remember to have fun. There is more to life than work. And I know some of you have different views on that than me, but I am very much a you can have your cake and eat it to personality. You can have fun and get all of your work accomplished, okay? Summer can get very busy and our schedules tend to be very fluid. So being super hard on ourselves and judgmental and giving ourselves a hard time on, oh, you didn't get that done today and you were supposed to, is only gonna set you back further versus giving yourself a little bit of space. You have much better things to do with your time and your thoughts than to beat yourself up. And that's a life lesson there, okay? <laughs> Tip number two is an idea that I've adopted from Ed Milo let. If you haven't heard of him, I'll try to link a couple videos down below, but he is incredible. He has some really, really cool ideas. And one of his ideas is to break your day into two or three separate days. So you have your morning day, which might be like 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. And then you have your second day, which may be 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then you have your third day, which might be 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Why I love this idea so much is because you can choose which which day is your work day and which day is your play day. So this can also be very fluid. Monday might have the morning part of your day be the work day and the afternoon be the play day. And Tuesday might be play day in the morning, work day in the afternoon. Remember to stay flexible with this. However, it's very important to plan it out in the beginning of your day because how easily can we fall into, 
oh yeah, the afternoon will be my work day. And then the afternoon comes and we're still playing. So this slides us right into tip number three is to have a morning routine. I've talked about having a morning routine in so many videos. Here's a really great one to keeping a morning routine. And here's a really great one to what things you can put in your morning routine to stay effective and set yourself up for success. But specifically, I'm talking about having a morning routine to plan your days. What do you need to really have accomplished today? Not tomorrow, not the next day, but today, what's most important? And you need to start with that. It's much more difficult and much more hectic and unproductive if we don't have a plan. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. Say that five times fast and get it in your head. <laughs> but seriously, this has been a really big thing for me because I tend to spin a lot of plates and it's really easy to forget a plate or forget something that you have to get done that day or you have a deadline for. But if you keep a little running tap have a little running list. There's a lot of really great ways to make sure that you're staying on top of your plans and that you're not falling behind or missing things. And tip number four is to take breaks to replenish yourself. This may sound counterintuitive to some people, but there has been so much research and so many studies that have been conducted on the efficacy and efficiency on taking breaks. It literally is so important for your brain to have that break, but in the summer, it's even more important because we are so busy and we are running around so much and literally the heat of the summer, the, the fire season that we talked about in last week's video, there's a lot going on. It's really, really easy to get burnt out in the summer. So taking those breaks mindfully and purposefully, even just a five minute break, go outside and walk on the ground, ground yourself. A lot of these breaks would include yin activities. So if you missed last week's video, take a look. There's a lot of great tips in slowing down, incorporating more of that feminine energy into our days because work is very masculine energy, right? Like work is very much, you have to push through, you have these deadlines, you have to go, 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 don't stop, get everything done. Taking breaks, is very yin energy. It's taking a minute to breathe, to recenter ourselves, to connect back to ourselves. But why this is most important is because we're helping our brains be more productive. By resting, our brains, when we get back to work, we're more focused, we have more clarity, we have more energy. This is the same idea as taking rest days at the gym, right? We need to give our muscles that time for recovery. Well, guess what? You also have to give your brain some time for recovery too. It could just be five, 10 minutes. I hope that you enjoy those tips in that video. Y'all, that's it, easy peasy. It sounds super simple and honestly, it is pretty simple. A lot of these things are just being mindful and paying attention to how we can best set ourselves up and how we can best take care of ourselves so then we can be the best version of ourselves for work, for our customers, for our clients, whatever you do. And then also for our friends and family and everyone that we're hanging out with and spending time with this summer. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. I have some really, really exciting stuff coming up down the pipeline this summer, so you won't want to miss it. I will see you next time, friends. Bye.